Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your he back to watch more Baruto, Naruto, Next Generations. Here to watch episode 13. This one is titled The Demon Beast Appears. Let's get it going. Thank you all for being here, man. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm really excited for this. I'm about to do like a good old little binge of this. It's been a minute since I've actually watched it. Apologies on that. But uh, I'm ready to get back into the saddle and see what's up. Let's, 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 yeah. So let's do this bad boy. Let's do it. That's Tanuki Shigaraki, correct? That's right. He's a former member of the Foundation who'd gone missing. It seems he was a talented researcher and an ardent follower of Donzo's. He was also the brains and the driving force behind a plan to develop a new weapon utilizing the Hashirama cell. No idea who this guy is, but that's the really... His code name was Gozu Tenno. Okay. Even after Donzo died, Tanuki didn't give up on it. But he disappeared long before these recent incidents even began, so he couldn't be behind them. What a letdown. Even after we discovered this hideout of his, too, this was all just a waste of our time. Our investigation's at square one. Captain? What's wrong? Yes, of course, that's it. The incidents began at the academy. Why didn't we realize earlier? Okay, what is it? What do you mean, sir? Hold on. Do you know who's behind all of this? I do. Mitsuki. It is clear that the culprit is... Come on, who is it? I thought about it for a while. Exactly. Or is it the class rep? The sun? What's that mean? I don't know. I'm just That's why I've been throwing. watching you ever since I arrived in the Hidden Leaf. I wanted to be the culprit. Is the class rep? Don't ask how I figured it out or said it. I just guessed because like she didn't like we don't even know her fucking name. We don't know where she came from. It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go now. Yeah, go later. I gotta use the bathroom, dude. I'll be right back. I should have paused this. I'm so sorry, Tim. This is gonna be interesting. That's what we know so far. The one who caused the incident is the daughter of a former member of the Foundation. Okay. Sumireka. That's her name. Is she one of Boruto's classmates? Her father's name was Tanuki Shigaraki. Shortly before he died, he entrusted her with the Gozu Tenno, which he perfected. Sighs on searching for her now since she's disappeared from her hospital room. Put that aside for now. People, People are saying, saying these incidents, incidents wouldn't, wouldn't have happened if the Leaf Police had vetted everyone involved. involved. What's our response? <sighs> well, Lady Fifth and I decided to stop exposing the identities of everyone connected to the Foundation. foundation. Kakashi, Kakashi Sensei! Sensei. <laughs> Good old Kakashi! Whatever. That's, That's seriously, seriously not, not funny, funny Mitsuki. Like, like at all. all. It's the truth, though. Just think, right before every incident. Each victim was in direct contact, contact with her. Are, Are you saying, saying that's, that's when, when she implanted, implanted the, the ghost, ghost on them? them? But, but she was a victim too. I believe that was merely a deception to deflect suspicion away from her. Makes sense. I can, I can give, give you more proof, proof if you're still, still not convinced. Enough already! already. It, it just, just doesn't, doesn't make, make any sense. sense. Why, Why exactly, exactly would, would the class, class rep do, do this? this? She's realized she can't hide the truth any longer. I've no doubt that she's already moving on to the next phase. What's the next phase? Huh? In, the In the ghost, ghost incidents, incidents, her victims, victims were manipulated into rampaging. rampaging. But, but that, that wasn't, wasn't the main purpose. purpose. It, it was, was just a way to absorb the victim's chakra. That's all. That can't be. <laughs> what is that? It's, it's coming, coming from, from Senju, Senju Park. Park. Looks like it's Here we go, fam. Not, Not seeing through the ruse that Sumire Kake set up was a big mistake, mistake on our part. In that climate, if 
we stirred up suspicion that a family member or colleague was once a member of the foundation. It would cause so many distrust. Repeat of the Uchiha massacre. If you'd chosen otherwise, someone like Sai would have been among the first to fall under suspicion. Yep. Sumi raised the problem now. We already knew that a late mother had never been any kind of ninja. We confirmed that much back when we received her academy application. But y'all didn't look up the dad. But there's no rule that someone can't be accepted just because they don't have any parents. That'd that'd mess, that would be so messed up. The fact, the fact is, is that she broke a lot of innocent victims into this. this. So, so even, even if she's a child, you think we should punish her like a criminal? Our role now is to maintain peace and order in the Hidden Leaf Village. We, we can't, can't be soft, soft on everyone. everyone. You, you pick the strangest times to act all by, by the book. book. This isn't <laughs> a joking <laughs> matter. Anyway, why are you here, Lord Sixth? Weren't you supposed to be away at the hot springs? Well, he's just rela honest, relaxing in retirement. But Donzo and I appear to be linked, linked by destiny. destiny. So, so I've been, been hunting, hunting for traces of his research. Still working? I thought you were retired, fam. Did you find it? I'm with you. Go. Uh, what what just, just happened? happened? Oh, something big. They all are fucking going towards that thing now. Sai has changed so much. I love it. it it's yep, especially you, fam. It's like a yeah, it's like his personal responsibility to be changing shit. Ah, damn it! Again, Sai is, is is one of those characters where I did not like him in the beginning, but now I love him. Leaf still has enemies after all these years, man. Dang, okay, Sai. Right away. Inojin's friend, but I have no choice. As long as I'm here, nothing bad will happen to you. Although I have to keep you restrained for now. Uh oh. The, holy crap! What is that thing? New way in uh in Jujutsu Kaisen was like that hawk thingy. It was one of uh Fushigoro's fucking summons. He's gonna do what he always does. So okay, Miski is not that bad. Okay, he still worked for someone. Something's happening. But he's. You know that wasn't a leaf directive. That was a directive from somewhere else. Who knows? Sound Village. We'll see. That thing looks fucking dastardly. Oh yeah! Lord Six, let's go! Oh yeah, that shit look good, dude. Surrounded this bitch ass. That thing's like a chimera or some shit, man. 
Oh, shit. I'm sure it was taking chakra. Yeah, it was taking chakra. Your dad's on his way, bro. Now he's gonna know there's something else going on. Exactly, what order is As things stand now, I feel this is the best choice. Oh, and if you follow me, you'll regret it. Hey, wait! Maybe! I'm sorry, but until my real self finishes his task, I'd like you to take a short nap. Yeah, right. Like, I'd never let you do that. A shadow clone. He hit himself. You told me to do it, right? <laughs> He can see it all. Man, when was the last time the Leaf had an issue like this? Like, an attack, you know what I mean? This is exciting. This is. Oh, yeah. Here it goes. Here, here goes. Here goes the man. Hey, who's commanding the relief operations? Shikamai and the others are on it. Now, in only one move. Wait, Naruto. You don't want to do that. That monstrosity absorbs chakra. If he gets a hold of your immense chakra, it'll become more than we can control. And as a last resort. The Jutsu user can detonate the chakra that's stored inside of Newark. Jeez. And we'll all be blown to bits. Is this really all we can do? Bro, Naruto's about to put out the big guns in his second, dude. That shit was crazy. Newark doesn't have enough chakra to break through yet. Should I set off the detonation? Alright, no, Barta's gonna find her. Just a little more. I can give it a little more chakra. Newark might be a little more. Oh. Dang, man. This this, this. sick. Oh, 
Yes, I am. So you were the only one who could see Nue, huh? This is about to change up the boy a little bit. He's gonna be like, what? What about Wasabi and Namida? And Sarda and Chocho? All our classmates? None of them matter to me. For revenge. That's the reason I was born. And all I've lived for. From the very start, I've existed only for vengeance. This is proof. I've lived until today only to accomplish what my father couldn't. Yeah, the wishes of the parents, babe. Couldn't accomplish. Shall fall to the child. Right. Stop! Bart doesn't have to make some choices. What a badass. Dude, that's sick. It's just so fucking awful. Do you really want to kill each other? Until now, you've been. What's he doing? Yeah, for real. This boy, this boy. What a fuck? <laughs> Dude, this boy Boris reminds me of his father so much. It's like, it's... The fuck? That was really good. Wow. This was a really good episode. Okay, I, I, I came back on the right episode to like, just start this binge back up. Start the show back up, as I would say. It's getting really good. It's, re it's, getting, it's getting awesome. Because I don't think we've seen... I've seen a battle in the Leaf, like, the Leaf Village since like, what? Movie? No, it wasn't even... I don't know. It's been a minute, you know what I mean? Where like where we could see like the whole squad like try to like fight and like it, it was nice. Get goosebumps everywhere, you know. Goosebump gang, what's up? Uh, class rep. So like the reason, okay, the reason why I guess the class rep earlier before this episode started is a couple of things that I've noticed, and I was like, I took, I thought about it. Biggest one was like she literally had no. We never got her fucking name. I didn't know her name was Sumire until today. Uh, I was just always wondering who, where she came from, like, who's your dad, who's her parents, and, like, everybody else is, like, you know, we see their kids, and we see, like, where they came from, we can tell, like, who Cho Cho's kid is, you know what I mean, we can tell, and then we're just looking at, uh, Sumeran, I'm like, who is she, is she, fuck, is she fucking, you know, uh, I mean, is she, is she, uh, oh, my God, is she from the Hugo clan? Like, you know what I mean? I just, I mean, she was, she didn't have the eyes, but like, you know, the purple hair. I'm sorry, that was a very dumb thing to say. But I just couldn't put a finger on it. So I was like, maybe it's her? I don't know, it makes sense. It would make sense, and it did make sense. So it's her, it's her. She's the one that, uh, you know, is behind all this. And then, like I said, good job, because uh, you pretty much had me guessing for a minute. Good to see Kakashi back, man. You know what I mean? Lord Six in the fucking house, bro. You know, telling the young Padawans, hey, man. Even though I'm supposed to be retired, I'm still out here looking at looking up Donzo's shit. Like he's not retired; he's still out there searching shit, trying to like figure things out. So it's like there goes his retirement, you know. But hey, I get it. You know what I mean? When you're a career ninja, a career, you know, you sometimes you just can never really retire. You got to keep going until you just can't move, right? And looks like Kakashi can still move, bro, because he came in with a like a wrath, dude. That shit was <laughs> just new it. That was amazing, dude. Um. I was really, uh, I really enjoyed Sai's little fucking little self monologue on like why he feels it's necessary to stop what's happening right now. Cause like he was a part of the foundation. He's been underneath the spell of it. He got out of the spell of the foundation. I get it. He, he was brainwashed, you know? And then now it's like he himself, and I really, really respect that he himself feels like it's his duty now to like, if anybody else that was underneath any of this, like foundation like jutsu curse or like brainwashing his duty is to stop it because he's seen both sides of the spectrum you know size so great man like i like like you know i like i in the beginning when we were watching naruto uh shippuden I, I wasn't too fond of him and then like 
later on in the line, I was like, okay, yeah, he's he's sick. He's he's just he's had issues, you know. When he started reading the books, I, I really I started following falling into love or just you know the character as we kept like seeing him progress like intellectually and like just try to become friends and have a relationship. It's pretty sick. Cause he, again, man, Sai Sai was brainwashed, bro. You know what I mean? He was just he was supposed to be a stone cold killer, and he got out of that. Uh, I also thought it was really cool of the Leaf the way they hit everybody over the Foundation members and just like didn't want to cause any more discourse. Naruto, you know, at the end of the day, man, from what I'm like, he's a terrible shit dad. But like, as far as a politician and like a soldier and like you know, like an actual government employee, he's fucking badass. Like you know, the rules he's he's created with. The people that he has that aside, they're for good reasons, you know what I mean? In my personal opinion, you know, if like people went under suspicion again after the Fourth Great Ninja War, you know, it could just only cause more fucking disturbances between each other, you know, like it we wouldn't be a cohesive unit in, in the Leaf. I mean, who knows, dude? We could have another, like, another massacre. Cause we, they didn't trust the Uchihas, man. There was so much, like, dis like disbelief in between all of each other. And, you know, I mean, we know what happened, bro. It was probably one of the worst things that could happen in the Leaf. Uh, but you know, as we continue, we see new A and uh, hey man, look, Misky, I, I gotta figure out where Misky's getting these orders from because I mean, that's like the next thing that I feel like it's like a big puzzle. Like, where is Misky getting these orders from? Is how is like who's telling him to kill, who's telling him to do this? It ain't fucking, it ain't Naruto, it's someone else. So, uh, I hope we get those answers here soon. Also, also thought it was really, really cool when Naruto came up and almost was about to like change up. He's like, there's gonna be one good move and this thing is done. And they were like, no, no, no. It's gonna eat all your chakra. Uh, last but not least, the last thing we saw was, uh, I think maybe Class Trip is dead. I don't know, but she basically let herself get eaten by that damn monster, like gave up all of her chakra. Uh, Bardo couldn't handle that shit and he basically ran after her, so. We shall see where they all end up, but right now it's looking really dicey. Dicey as hell, my guys and my girls. Uh, either way, thank you all for watching with me, man. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you all so, so much for all your guys' support and love. It means the world back here. And yeah, I'm ready to watch the next episode. Let's do this, bad boy.